What's going on guys? So, if you guys remember in the previous companion quests, I went through this little series in which uh, we did all of Bastion's companion quests while I was simultaneously grinding all of his stuff to max level, including weapons, armor, guilds, uh, you name it. And Bastion is now completely done. He is an ice staff, you know, tank. And he, it's great. I love that build completely. But he is finally complete so my other characters can play with him while I grind Miri to max level. I'm over here at the Serpent's Nest. It's a great place to grind for, uh, it's a good place, decent place to grind for XP. But it's more over better place for her to grind for Rapport because there's a lot of snakes here and she hates snakes so killing them gains favor for Miri and in doing so uh, I got a companion quest for her I haven't done it yet I don't know what this quest entire uh, entails or anything like that I don't know anything about these quests so I'm excited to get started on this so to my understanding there's two quests there's this one that we have right in front of us that we have to still accept and then there's one more on top of that so that's gonna be obviously a future video so stay tuned for that very excited. I'm just now getting started in, uh, you know, leveling her up. So it's going to be a pretty long process with her. But I'm pretty excited. If you are too, though, do me a huge favor. Drop a like on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Because it helps this channel grow. With that being said, I'm very excited to get started with this quest line. So, let's jump into it. Alright, Miri. What is it that you have for me? I got a letter from my father about my mother, Areni. She's gone missing. She has a habit of running off on an adventure at the drop of a hat and being gone for weeks at a time, but Dad says she's been out of touch for a while now. He's worried. Okay, that's interesting. So she probably got herself into some trouble. We probably have to go on a rescue mission. Uh, your mother is an adventurer, like you, apparently. Just don't take an arrow to the knee. Yeah, her runs in the family. Well, mom's side. Dad's a Halalu trader she partnered with for years before settling down. Mostly settling down. She'd acquire all sorts of rare items for their clients, but my father said they haven't had any commissions. Oh, that's interesting. Any idea where she might have gone? Mom neglected to mention it, I'm sure, but my father mentioned getting an angry letter from one of their old clients at the Stormhold Mages Guild, claiming she reneged on their arrangement after taking payment. Would you mind if we pay them a visit? Yeah, no, of course. Uh, I'll help you find your mother, for sure. Dad's letter said that the one raising a stink was an old client of theirs named Myrta Livian, a member of the Stormhold Mages Guild. Let's get to Shadowfen and see just what sort of trouble Mom got herself into this time. Yeah, no problem. I take it, uh, this isn't the first time you've had, uh, to go chasing after your mother? It's that obvious, eh? Mm -hmm. When Mom's in one of her flighty moods, it usually sorts itself out, but... Sometimes she gets so wrapped up in something it becomes an obsession. Someone has to talk some sense into her, and that someone is usually me. Eh, uh, makes sense. Why does it always fall on you, though? I got my mom's knack for adventure and my dad's level-headedness. So I'm the only one who's both crazy enough to go after her and sane enough to talk some <laughs> sense into her. I also happen to be their eldest child, so it's my filial duty to the house. Yeah, it makes sense. Kind of. No child should have that much responsibility, to be honest, but I feel like, I feel like she's taking up the mantle for herself. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Uh, do you have a lot of family obligations? <laughs> not so much. Our family is of little consequence, so we're free to be a bunch of impetuous miscreants chasing our own whims. If I'd been born to one of the great houses, I'd either be a pawn in their schemes or a disappointment. <laughs> Uh, your father's a disappointment? He's a seventh son of a seventh son in House Halalu. Though he wasn't going to amount to anything without climbing over his siblings. Dad's too sweet for that. So we wound up marrying into our little house for something as unprofitable as love. Oh, that's cute though. I, I kind of like her dad now. She He chose love over fortune, basically. Uh, have you ever been to Stormhold? I mean, I'm pretty sure she's been to Stormhold quite a few times with me, but we'll, we'll, not, we'll not get to that. We lived there for a good few years oh. when I was young. It was awkward at times. Argonians don't trust Dark Elves, for good reason. I like to think my parents showed them different, but not everyone warmed up to us. I'm sure that's a lore 
thing. I'm not entirely sure why Argonians don't like or trust Dark Elves. Maybe those lore uh, lore buffs in um, that watch my videos could you know shed some light. I don't know if you guys can let me know why Argonians don't like Dark Elves. I would love to hear that. Uh, so definitely let me know down in the comment section, please. Uh, hardly surprising that Argonians are wary of Dark Elves. I know. <clears throat> Ashes my hide that a few rotten fetches ruined it for the rest of us. But that's not quite the truth. It's easy to blame it all on House Drez and the Telvanni, but they weren't the only ones keeping slaves before the pact. So it's a slave thing? Is that what I'm gathering? Uh, did your family keep slaves? No. My mom and dad never approved of it. I even had a cousin who was forced into servitude, and they helped my uncle free him at great risk to themselves. But... Our ancestors that uh, I don't know yeah so not only is Miri a good person but her family's good people too it seems uh that burdens on them not yours well that would be a good place to start rebuilding trust I really should <clears throat> I've spent my life digging through all sorts of obscure history and I've never really thought to look into my own embarrassing really well, that'll have to wait until after we've tracked down my mother, though. I take it this isn't the first time you've had... Wait, I've already said that. It's that obvious, eh? I got my mom's knack for... <laughs> no. He's a seventh son. Uh... He lived there for a good few years when I was young. It was awkward at times. Argonians don't trust Dark Elves, for good reason. I like to think my parents showed them different, but not everyone warmed up to us. So why wouldn't Argonians trust Dark Elves? I'm a little surprised you have to ask. Morrowind had the most prolific slave trade in Tamriel Got before you. the Ebonhot Pact abolished it. The people they preyed on most were the splintered Argonian tribes down in Black Marsh. Okay, yeah, now it, it kind of makes sense now. Did your family keep no. slaves? My mom and dad never approved of it. I even had a cousin who was forced into servitude, and they helped my uncle free him at great risk to themselves. But our ancestors, that uh, I don't know. All right, yeah, that burden's on them, not yours. Yeah, I suppose. I just feel foolish for taking our innocence for granted. If my ancestors weren't guiltless, I'll just have to be better than them. That's all there is to it. I can start by getting my mother to act more responsibly. You know what, I agree, Miri. You are... You're a really good person. All right, Miri. Let's go handle your business. So where is this we're going to Mournhold? Yeah, so... I looked up the achievements, and this is how I know, by the way, that there's two two quests. This, this is the extent of what I know. The Mother's Obsession, and then Dead Rights the next one, so I don't know anything past that. Really quick, I, I do want to show you guys... I do want to show you guys how far I've gotten. So, she is max level, as you can see on the top left up here. It says combat level, she's max HP. And in doing so, her Deadly Assassin, Living Shade, and Soul Thief is all maxed out. In terms of weapon, the only thing I've had maxed out is uh, Restoration Staff, because that's what I used her as originally. But I, I kind of like, I've said this in my Bastion series, but I kind of like my companions to be using things that they personally like. I'm kind of like an RP guy when it comes to that. So it's like, if she likes archery, I kind of want her to have a bow. So I'm going to train everything else and then finish up with bow. Uh, so her restoration staff's maxed. I'm working on destruction staff. After that, I'm going to go towards two-handed, dual wield, finish up with one hand and shield. And then her last is going to be bow. As, and then I'll, obviously I'm going to put viper's bite in place of destructive uh, blast. And that's basically how it's going to happen. Uh, in terms of armor, her light armor's done obviously because she was a healer. I'm working on medium armor and then I'm going to... As soon as I'm maxed out with medium armor, I'm going to give her some heavy armor. And just until she's maxed out on there. Guild-wise, they're all level 3. And yeah, that's it. In terms of racial skills, she... Her and Bastion both have the 3% buff to damage. So they both make decent DPSs. But Bastion has also a 3% buff, I believe, to max health. And uh, which makes him a good... A very good tank you know and she has a three percent buff to healing done which makes her a good healer 
and that's why I had her as a healer, but I don't want her as a healer only because I, again, I want her to have a bow. So where am I going? To Shadowfen up there. So I'm just going to go ahead and spend the gold to fast travel there. Stormhold Mage's Guild. This isn't... Did Is it Shadowfen that she wanted us to go to? I don't remember already. I'm pretty sure it was Shadowfen. All right, let's just go ahead and go fast. Come on, home girl. We got some business to take care of. I thought she said Mage's Guild. This is the Fighter's Guild. Oh, wait. This place has both, doesn't it? It's just both different sections of this little tomb area. The guild has need of you, comrade. Uh, I'm not interested right now, home girl. Thank you. Where I'm looking for something specific. That high elf matches Mert Olivian's description. Ask him if he's seen Reni Alendis. I should probably hang back. Um. Okay. Do I know you? I don't believe I do. Uh, did you meet with Reni Alendis recently? I don't see how that's any of your affair. But if you must know, I did cross paths with that unscrupulous dark elf, and I'm worse for it. What's your interest in Irene? I suppose she cheated you as well. Wait, hold on. So she cheated you? She came to me seeking information, and given our long-standing association, I entrusted her with it on the assurance that she would do me a simple favor in return. Instead, she ran off and played me for a fool. No one makes a fool of me. I really need to find Ir Irene. And I really need the antique inkpot she promised to procure. I'll tell you what I told Irene, but only after my inkpot is returned to me and not a moment sooner. I'll not have my good faith taken advantage of again. All right, you have a deal. My inkwell is currently in the possession of a banker here in Stormhaven. The result of an ill-advised card game. They seem to enjoy lording their victory over me, so they refuse to part with it at any price. I want it returned. I don't care how. Why is this inkwell uh, worth so much trouble to you? It's one of a kind. The first work of the current sapiarch of shape and form when they were still a student. Irreplaceable. I never thought an Argonian would beat me at the cards, but... The banker has more of a head for numbers than I expected. Uh, if it was so important to you, why did you wager it? I didn't. I just got so thoroughly thrashed at the table that I needed to offer collateral. Underroot must have known what a singular treasure it is. Now that she has it in her greedy claws, she'll never let it go. Willingly, anyway. Okay, well, let's go find her equal. Wait, hold on. Miri has something to say. I caught the gist of that. That sweat actually wanted my mom to rob a bank. I'm glad she had enough sense not to go through with it. Unless the reason we haven't heard from her is because she's in jail. Uh, no. Uh, no, she, she wouldn't. You don't sound so sure. I mean, adventuring can be dirty business. My family is nothing but a bunch of no-good tomb robbers, depending on who you ask. But there's a big difference between digging through old ruins for treasure and outright stealing. Do you think she might really be in jail? No. If that were the case, she'd have written my father to pay her bounty. And while he should let her sit and learn her lesson, he's too much of a softy. She probably ran off like Mert said. And now it's us who have to get our hands dirty. Maybe not. We'll find something out. Let's hope so. But if we do wind up breaking the law... We could have a worse partner in crime. You're a good friend. Thank you. Uh, yeah, well, let's go pay a visit to that bank. I can't believe I have to steal from a bank for my own fetching mother. This is why no one takes our house seriously. If you say so, Miri. All right, let's go ahead and go back. I think this is the way. Yeah, it is. An urgent task Shut up. I really need to do those quests because she's, she's really annoying. That girl that runs up to you from the Fighters Guild. Okay. Did you hear about deep crack? It's not that far from here, is it? No, it's No one is really sure what happened. It's literally here. Luckily, it's not far at all. 
Okay. Just two people admiring the decorations. Yeah, standing in a oh, pile of such a nice bank, fire, isn't it? Oh, such refined taste. Mary, you're so freaking obvious. It's not even funny. Just shut up. Like, <laughs> you're more likely to cause attention if you're just like, gee, mighty nice banners we have here. Wow, that is a nice color of this brick. You know what I mean? It's just so obvious. Uh, also, I don't know who screamed, but that was kind of concerning. Is it? Oh, it's above. Not downstairs. What am I doing? Get, get out of my way. Mm, barge in, why don't you? It's not like I'm trying to work. Do I have to steal this? Let me see. So, I don't think that's that. Oh, take Inkwell. So, it is definitely stealing. All right. Got it? Let's not overstay our welcome. Yeah, I agree, Miri. Let's, let's get out of here before we get caught up. So, now we're going back to him? Yeah. So, sh he should, in theory, tell us exactly where she's at. You're not cutting me off. I hope so, at Are least. You? We could have potentially got ourselves arrested there. Okay, so we're back in the Mages Guild. Man, I could have just went straight up here, leaving. All right, M you. Dare I ask, is the deed done? Is my little treasure to be returned to me at last? As a matter of fact, yes, is your answer. Here's your inkwell. Is it really that valuable? Do you have any idea how rare it is for a creation this ugly to survive on Somerset? No. Uh, let alone... One made by the premier authority on sculpture. I even had the original assignment's written grade. Barely satisfactory. <laughs> it's priceless. Right. So tell me about uh, your meeting with Ereni, Elendis. At least Ereni had an appreciation for rarities. I sent her to meet another antiquity hunter I deal with who made a discovery in Stone Falls that Ereni would be interested in. Too interested. Who did you send her to meet? Edvilda Stonestalker. She was probing my interest in Dwemer relics. I've no interest in it, but I knew Ereni has an unhealthy interest in them. She was camped near Steenfont, last I heard. That's all I can tell you, so our business is concluded. Okay, fair enough. Let's go. So now we're going to S Ed Edvid does camp you guys can't see the quest but that's what it says that's the next objective to go to and uh, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that to be honest let's check the map and see how far it is exactly oh it's not far at all especially with my maxed out mount I don't know if I mentioned this but this is my main character he's a tank love him to death love this character I love tanking in this game period it's a lot of fun for me personally I just hate the fact that it does no DPS but I also love the fact that companions can fill that little gap for you now, you know what I mean? Makes it makes it a lot more bearable, I think, to be a tank in the game now that you have a way to do a little bit more DPS. All right. Oh wait, Deshaun? Uh maybe I should check this out. Okay, so I gotta go way out there. Where am I currently? <clears throat> not, not in Stone Falls. I know that as a fact. So let's go ahead and just say screw it. We'll fast travel here because we're kind of far, and it's it's faster to just do it this way, you know. I don't care. I'll fork up the gold. It's okay. Anything for the quest. <laughs> All right. Yeah, and with Miri being an archer, it's gonna it's it's gonna pay off, I think, in the long run. Hey, look, Miri, we're uh, by Ash Mountain, I think. Your hometown, basically. Okay, we gotta hurry up. How far are we? Not that far, to be honest. We're almost there. 
Oh! That was close. Never mind. Oh, God. Luckily, he's a tank and he's got a ton of health. Because that probably would have killed... Oh, that was easy. Someone killed her. Let's touch the camp. Did he... Did she just say someone killed her? <gasps> they did. They killed him in Div... Uh, whatever her name is. Ed... Ed Villa. Stone Stalker. Mom Scar. Liam gave that to her last new life when she was headed to Skyrim for the Snow Bear Plunge. She wouldn't have left it. Okay, good to know. Let's read the logbook. Oh god, how... It's a lot to read. Okay, I'll read it. Better stay out of the rift for a bit. Uh, not that I did anything wrong, but some Nords are so touchy about old shrines and burrows. Still, the small figural pieces I managed to scavenge will fetch uh, a pretty price uh, from the night collectors. One tiny mammoth figure, ivory carved, okay, so that's just stuff that she has. Uh, I don't want to stay in Stone Falls too long, smells like the armpit of Mayroom's Dagon, or at least how I'd imagine Dagon's armpit would smell. But this steam font uh, place seems safe enough for a camp as far as dwarven ruins go. I wanted to try uh, my luck scavenging at the inner sea uh, amateur but I heard that there are bandits hiding there now. I should be far enough away that they won't bother me, but damn, if that isn't my luck. That map I bought from Miri, a Mert, is already paying off. No big scores yet, but I found some old po uh, pottery I can sell to a historian. Small vase, get some more stuff. Have a couple of buyers who would like this sort of thing. Make up something I have to. Change my mind. This map hasn't led me to anything worth half what I paid for it. Think I'm going to do some snooping around uh, the amateur. After all, bandits won't miss any old dwarven junk. Damn it. There's a ton of bandits down the sodding hole. Help myself to some of the rations, but I couldn't risk poking around. Orky take you. Mert, uh, if I hadn't spent my last gold on your map, I could catch a fiery, a fairy somewhere out of this ash pit. Anywhere. Remembered, Mert used to work with da uh, a dark elf who was keen on dwarven junk. Said she'd pay a small fortune for leads on a dwarven puzzle box. Going to get Mert uh, to send her my way, but uh, and put some gold in my pocket. If if she happens to clear out those bandits, all the better for me. Did Edvilda write down anything important? Yeah, we have a very good lead on where she's going. Mom actually, was definitely here. She had to have gone in a hurry if she left this scarf behind. Did Edvilda write down anything that would clue us in on where my mother's gone? As a matter of fact, she did. It looks like Elvilda was trying to sell your mother false information about a puzzle box. Oh, not that fetching thing again. Mom, she's been chasing after my grandfather's Dwemer puzzle box for decades. Ever since the old Mer joined our ancestors at the tomb, it's her obsession. Don't tell me they got into a fight over it. Well, Elvilda planned to sell Iren uh, Ireni the inner sea amateur which is full of bandits great <clears throat> just great so the shifty nord met my mother out here and ran afoul of bandits that explains what happened to Edvilda but mom's not here thank feck but if she'd escaped we'd have heard from her right maybe we have taken her captive well let's head uh to inner sea amateur and look for her i've never been to the inner sea amateur it must not be too far from Edvilda's camp three I hope mom's all right. Let's hope. Let's hope. Luckily, it's just around the corner. Off we go. Well, that was a fail. Okay, come on. Come on, man. Oh, I fell. Oh, snap, I fell again. Those... 
Those wolves look dope, by the way. Come on, Miri. We got some stuff to take care of. Inner Sea Armature. Definitely have some stuff, some dwarven stuff in here. All right, so I think we gotta go around this way. Absolutely. Then over here. Okay, so we are, we're close. Get out of my way. Poke, poke. Go on, Miri. Take care of business for me. You're my DPS person, even though you're not set up for destruction staff, really. I'm kind of just doing this thing where I'm just giving her all the skills that she would be using as an archer. It, it, it just saves me time. Because she's not going to be having the destruction staff very long, just until she's maxed out, you know? Uh, search for a ren. Alright. Very nice. We also got a an endeavor done. <laughs> All done. Let me let me pick this. Just cuz my ledgerman isn't maxed out yet. Where's it at anyways? It is at s almost 7. Oh, who's this? Oh my god, it's her. Mary? Friend of my daughter's. Or maybe... Well, you look nice. We'll get properly introduced after I'm out of these shackles. So she's definitely imprisoned. Interesting sets of developments here. Don't mind Mary. She takes too much after her father. I've been dying to finally meet the person my daughter's been adventuring with. Though I hadn't planned on being chained up like a common criminal upon our first meeting. To be fair, I think it might be better that Miria takes up after her father. Although she's with us on adventures, meaning she did take up some traits from her mother. But I think personality-wise, just by what I gather so far, she definitely takes up after her father. Uh, how did you wind, uh, wind up like this anyways? I was negotiating a lead from a contact I met out by Steamfont. Oh, and we met. talks got a little heated. She was trying to take me for a ride, I could tell. And we must have caught the attention of these feckless swits. They tried to rob us. How did she die? She tried to make a run for it, and they cut her down without a second thought. Figured I'd take my chances with another approach. Offered to be their cook if they spared my life. Fortunately, they aren't picky. I was beginning to run out of recipes. Well, we probably shouldn't linger here then, right? <clears throat> no, I suppose not. Won't be long before one of these fools gets bored or hungry and comes to swipe something from the pantry. You've done a fine job looking after Miri, so I'll follow your lead. But don't think we're done talking. I don't think we're done talking either. Let's go. Can we please just get out of here now? Yeah, come on, Miri. I could, I could definitely sense some frustration there. Obvious statement of the decade, right? Luckily, we already killed all these guys. Hopefully, none of them respawned because I just kind of want to get out of here. Well, these guys respawned. Poke! Poke! <laughs> nice try. Dunzo. I love being a tank, dude. Like, I'm not obviously doing everything I should be doing as a tank. But that's because these trash mobs really don't do anything nice to me, really. I, I should have listened to that. Crap. That was my fault. My bad. Don't think you're free and clear just because we escaped the bandits. What were you thinking? Oh, come now, Miri. I've been doing this since before you were in diapers. And you're not getting any younger. We almost lost Liam, and you nearly lost this. Would you trade it for that stupid puzzle box? Liam's scarf. Miri, I, I... I... I'm sorry. I'm sorry I worried you all. It's just... I'll let it go. We love you, Mom. We're your family. Go home. Oh, that was sweet. 
Hopefully. All right, I'm gonna do the optional quest first, obviously. Well, now I feel the fool. I made you all worry, dragged you into this mess. Sorry to be such a pain in the arse, as my daughter would put it. <laughs> okay. Uh, does this mean you're gonna stop running off uh, on a whim? Maybe it's time I hung up my adventurer's rock and settled in with my worry wart of a husband. I just hate leaving things unfinished. Why is this puzzle box so important to you anyways? It was my father's prized possession. He spent decades trying to unravel its mysteries until it was stolen from him. Then he spent the rest of his life trying to get it back and most of mine after he died. I thought it might finally make him happy. No, I get it. I have my own prized possession and that's actually this ring right here that I have. Uh, it's probably going to be what I pass on to my kids, to be honest. I love this ring so much. It's my prized possession. I love it wholeheartedly. So I get it. You know, I would be very, very sad and depressed if I, if I lost it. Or someone stole it or whatever, you know? Alright, Mary. I know it probably seems like I'm being harsh, but Mom's been at this more times than I can count. She promises to give up on it, but then she catches some whiff of a lead about that damn box and she's off like a race squaw. I mean, at least she's all right, right? This time, death was the only thing that stopped my grandfather from chasing after that stupid trinket. I don't want it to be the same for her. You can only keep rolling the dice in this life for so long. That's a good point. Do you think she'll really give it up this time? I hope so. Probably not. But I've weighed her down with enough guilt to hold her for a little while at least. Either way, sorry for dragging you into my family drama. Not a, not don't you don't have to apologize. Uh, should we make sure your mother returns home safely? Are you kidding? If I don't get you out of here, she'll make you meet the entire extended family. <laughs> Davin's watch is just down the road. She can make her way home from there. Thank you for putting up with all this. I'll make it up to you. Thank you. I thought I had. Here, I'll just get rid of that. Are you right. kidding? Complete Playing quest. Plans? What was it that I just picked up? Nearly preserved the envelope. Morrowind has her eye on you. <clears throat> this envelope contains a couple of treasure maps. That Miri thought you might enjoy hunting. Okay, so I'm not gonna open it. Well, screw it. So it's just two treasure maps. Okay, I'm not gonna use them though right now. I'd rather just keep it. There she is right there again. So we're officially done with this quest, right? Awesome. Let's go grind some more and get the next quest then.